<laughs> Didn't that show? <laughs> Yogurt helps. <laughs> Monday morning is episode 7, day 31. Bricklayers, I've been busy. Uh, so Ben has built this up now with a weather, weather, <laughs> weather struck pointing. Uh, he's going to carry on when he gets here today, just building up the other side. And then we can finally do this head of detail. That means we can free up all of these acros and use them elsewhere on the project. On the acros, so we've supported the internal course of this steel now which takes a needle above so we can now free up these two acros with the availability of their macros we can support this existing steel once this is supported sam and dave can cut this brickwork back tee this out ready for the brick layers we can build up the dpc course internally um, and externally and then we can get that ready to form the bay because we've got a big window going in here We've got a meeting with the client this morning about final positions, etc. The plumbers are here doing a first fix. Aiden actually come in and done the roof on Saturday with Ash. So we can go and take a look at that now. It's nice to see the garage roof formed. Monday, big week. Hey, so we have our garage roof. This has been formed out of six by two C24 treated timber. Aiden has cut the tops of the rafters around the ridge steel. He's installed the web into the steel. Uh, one of Shay's jobs for the day is to install our rafter brackets either side, just to tie that in at the top. His third mouth around the bottom, we've got our uh, ceiling joists in. So the bricklayers can now build up the external course of brickwork ready to the shape of our roof. And that is getting felt and battened on Saturday. The other side of the roof that we'll see in a second uh, just where Matt is now, we've actually got a flat roof joining into our, joining into our pitched roof. So the Jays are going to be here tomorrow to install that and get that ready, uh, for the warm deck build up. We've got an 18 mil OSB. We've then got our vapor membrane. We've got 150 mil insulation. And then we've got our 18 mil OSB going over the top of that. That is the build up for a warm deck roof. It's a busy day on site. There's lots of people here. We'll take a look around. Maybe meet the plumbers upstairs now. The taste of the alterations and the on suite bedroom floor. Agnes been busy installing this stuff on, ready for our dog light in and our long one to go. He's got the first fix, his electrics ready. It's nice to see that space full. Uh, we're just having a chat with us now about the first week services. Yeah, Might meet Dan, I'll see if he wants to be on camera. Can you go your knees a little bit, mate, or I'll stand up on some stilts? Uh, so this is Dan, one of the owners of AD Heating. What are you going to do with this week? Wait, there's something happening, but let's get some first fixing done. Aiden's uh, Aiden's got some drawings and some specs, so we're gonna go on, get some bits first fixed through here, and uh, hopefully get some horses in. Oh, okay. No, 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 in the cocoa uh, world. Cool. That's it, mate. Yeah, cocoa butter. Just offer them back up again. Okay, so the steel work into the attics. This is our large, or large steel. This is a nice gauge steel, ready to take the view from the above. They've installed the pad stones, they've dry packed around, uh, and this forms our double door opening into the annex. So this is going to be a snug. Uh, we've actually got a pocket door, so a double pocket door. We're going to fit this externally, internally, sorry, of the wall. Um, so then that can slide, and you've got a nice sort of double door opening on one system. But when you open one door, they all open together. So that'd be really nice detail. So Sam uh, or Dave. Can't know that. Yeah. They, they built up this uh, thermal internal skin. They left it this height because we've got a uh, 
Hackney lintel to go across because then we've got a single door and a, a glazed unit to the side of it. So this is as far as we can go with it for now. Nice to see the opening's formed and it, it sort of gives a sense of how the space is going to uh, going to be used. <laughs> Good morning, it is Tuesday, uh, it's day 32, more brickworks. So, I know I keep going on about how we want the brickworks to blend, but this is a great example. So this is our new brickwork, once this is dry, this is gonna blend beautifully into the existing brickwork. So once we've once we've got our openings made, um, there's no patchwork of bricks, etc. blah, blah, blah. Everything should blend and that's how we want it. Um, Ash is just round, giving the site a good sort of clear up today, um, getting, uh, getting uh, things into stacks, books, blocks, just having a good clear up. Sam is just preparing this bay now, so he's got the acropops taking the existing steel, um, and then we're gonna cut this back, we're gonna tee it in, he can lay his DPC cord once that's all prepped up, and then we're good to go on the external face brickwork. Let's take a look inside, because some bits have happened upstairs yesterday. Okay, so first floor works. We've got uh, plenty more services being the first bit from the plumbers, which is good. Dan took out this existing wall yesterday, like we spoke about. Uh, so we're going to rebuild this out of a stud timber, um, just a stub wall, sorry. Um, we've got a bottom plate in here. Uh, we're going to return it along here. Um, it's going to create a, a larger space in this uh, landing area. I mean, stop saying, oh, that's something I've noticed, so I'm going to try and do that. So the guys have carried on plast boarding the stub walls. I'm not sure what this cutout is about, but it's the sort of things you find on site. Wallpaper stripped. This room, bathroom, I believe the third bedroom. Second so bedroom still needs a bit more work to do. Bedroom four, we're leaving for the minute until we push that wall out. But we can take a look here actually at the plumbing. So they have done a nice job of running our, running our uh, lines up into the loft, uh, preparing for these bathrooms. So we've got a laundry cupboard in here, we've got our bathroom the other side, and then we've got our ensuite. You can see the room's being formed now. So once we've got one side of our walls uh, plasterboarded, you can actually see the size and get a feel of how the spaces are going to be used. We leave one side open for the minute to run our electric, uh, electricals, run our plumbing. As soon as they're done on their first fix, we can insulate, plasterboard, and then get ready for the plaster skin. Nick, that is it. Up for the air at the minute. Um, well, I need to stop saying. Um, Dan is going to uh, chop through the side wall stay ready for the needles. As soon as we've got that done, we need it there on the brickwork and then we can take that last wall out downstairs. Where the hardcore is going to go at this stage, I do not know, but that's a story for another day. Yeah. Always watching. What did I want to do? So not much has changed internally from this view, but externally we've now prepared this for our friends the robots. We teeth out the brickwork, once again they're really soft, so Dave's actually got had to go back further than what he wanted to, but look, we don't leave the players with any broken bricks and chutes. So now to take it back is when they're not broken, we can then infill this like we said about a minute ago. We're nearly there on these uh on this snug room now. Just need to team in this brickwork and then we're good to go. <laughs> So 
go around the front of the build. We've got James and Jack installing the flat roof, which is going to join into our pitch roof of our garage now. This is going to be a warm deck like I spoke about yesterday. We've got time lapse up here. Get a footage of that now, so that should be a good video. <laughs> Yesterday. Same oh, so it was over at Crescent. I said, Where's my money? We're not at the front. I'm rich, I'll just buy loads more. Hand them all out. Yeah, I need some tools. I can't buy that. Hello. I'm not happy. Please use another browser, we're busy. How about f you? If you get time, can we patch in them ceilings? Yes, I'm sorry. It's just got to start down so that's enough. Yeah. I'm going to lay out and down. I'd be so quick to walk away and go. Don't see. We can also, James and Jack, we can rip this out. Friend Tim Van Ham's board. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, no. No, 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 Good morning, it is Wednesday, it is day 33. I'm just up here on the bad stands with Dan as he's prepared the needle holes. Uh, we've got these in place so we can we can temporarily prop up this building um, and then we can take down this side wall. We've had the dumper and the digger dropped off this morning from El Smith Plant Hire, so we'll go and take a look at that now. Do you want a dump around there? Turn the revs up. <laughs> they, yeah, they really, have you used one before? They're really sensitive. Oh, they? Really sensitive. Oh. <laughs> you gotta try and push them both at the same time when you're moving, otherwise you will like, you'll go like that, innit? <laughs> ben has done a fantastic job. Of creating our head of detail above this grand right. opening. So this is one of the main parts of the build. We've got a three section big sliding door going in here. Um, he's just going to go for the awkward bit today, which I bet you're not looking forward to, Ben. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we need to match him with the existing Ow, detail. It's going to be quite hard. So we'll see how he gets on with that. <laughs> So we've got the we've got the digger and the trap barrel have been dropped off for 
And now I said originally at the start of all this YouTube that we're going to reuse the hardcore in the floor. We've got so much of it. That was the original plan. The annoying part is we actually need to build up this external area, but we, we can't build it up because all of this needs to come up for us to then lay our proper uh, sub base. But so we're going to have to get rid of it. At the minute, we're going to either take it down to the bottom of the hill on some uh, boards and get that grabbed because the grab can't come up this hill. Or we're going to try and store it in an area in the garden so we can reuse it when the time comes. The Jays, James and Jack are just upstairs uh, carrying on with the internal stuff walls. This is to the family bathroom. They've also got some little bits to do, like the uh, like patching in the bits of the ceiling. We've done the warm deck build up yesterday. The GoPro actually ran out of battery again, so we only got the uh, we only got some footage of them putting in their floor joists. Uh, but yeah, warm deck build up done. We're just waiting on a decision actually, so we'll go and talk about that now. It's full time. You might have anything else to <laughs> So, James and Jack are going to be constructing this stuff all day. Where are we going to turn it, James? Along there? Yeah, it's about here. Yeah. So, that gives us a storage cupboard in this area. Uh, we've got a new doorway down in here. And, like we said originally, we don't want to take the wall down and take this in. We'd rather just rebuild it. They're going to go along and just finish up these bits here, so patching in bits of plasterboard in the ceiling like that. I believe we've got one more room up here, which is that one, to fully strip a wallpaper. And all my ads uh, It's never ended. It is never ended. Other than that, that's, that's pretty much it up here. Uh, we'll get the GoPro now. Hopefully it don't run out of battery, but we'll see. So it is now 20 past three, still on Wednesday. Um, I'm just on my way now to get the staff picture taken because we needed a updated one. And I know that Jack has a surprise in store for Shay whilst we're there. So you can see all the behind the scenes. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> 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 Yogurt helps. How much are you planning to do this? Cool. You can't spit it out. You've got to do it. Every minute that you last, I'll give you a tenner. Let me have that. Up to three minutes. God, yeah. we'll just go over God, all of it. Don't spit it out. Can't spit it out. Don't spit it out. Take it. Take it. Oh, mate, Caroline and Chief are really bad. They're really bad. Just paying me to my hobby. Milk and yogurt helps, apparently. And also a beer. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. I'll give another one there. <laughs> yeah, it looks it. <laughs> it's all right. That ain't great, actually. <laughs> <laughs> ain't awful. It's not bad as my fault. Bro's got way, mate. Right. When's this timer? Is there a timer? No, no, yeah, get, uh, do that one. Yeah, do that one. Wait, you're getting tired. I'm not doing it. You're getting tired. 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 You're it's <laughs> 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 not awful, boy. It's actually not all. My tongue is just like tingling. <laughs> yeah, you, know, you know what it's going to get worse and worse. Look, he's trying to keep it. Am I allowed to spit? No. Swallow it all, baby. Swallow it all. That's what she said. It was nothing.
Uh, it's like having children. Like, genuinely, like, I can imagine. It's Thursday morning, May 34. James and Jack were busy yesterday tying up some bits upstairs. We built this uh, 6x2 wall now in front of the 4x2 to incorporate for our waste for the toilet. We spoke about that previously. This area here is going to be a sort of ledge detail for the client. Just gives a nice sort of area to store things. If they want a mirror in there, they can do. We need to put in a niche here. We haven't allowed for the niche as of yet because we've got a thing called floor build up, tile finish, things like that. With niches, we like to make sure that they align perfectly with a finished tile. We're not just going to chop them in halfway in the tile and odds it. It's not how we do things. So once we've got our uh, confirmation on tile, we've got a confirmation on flooring, we can then build this up, ready and measure out where exactly the tile is going to fall. So then that can form the niche. We'll take a look through here now because they have started to construct the timber wall. So I did actually make the mistake yesterday of saying there was a doorway going in here. The old plans show the door there, so that's where I got confused. They've, they've constructed this timber wall, started glass boarding it. The old wall actually came out here, came back. Um, and like I said about it, it, it wasn't worthwhile keeping that in. We needed to take half that out anyway, so we just reconstructed a timber stub wall. We've got a storage cupboard going in here. If you come through actually. So when we walk through here, in the plans originally, this was going to be blocked up. That is now not the case. So. You can see, having worked with the plumbers, the base plate was installed while the plumbers was first fixing. This has allowed them to bring up their hot and colds, their wastes. This is going to be a little sort of storage area on the inside of the bathroom. We actually had a time lapse of that yesterday, so you would have seen it being built, but yeah, no, that's it in all its glory. Needs to go in the team room. This blades get lost on site and cost me about £40 a hop. Anyway, needles. So Dan has punched these holes through for our needle. So Dick's going to go through and support this wall whilst we take that side wall down. It's the last one to take down. We are just waiting for the aggros to be freed up. We'll show you in a second, but Ben has done an amazing job of the brickwork here at the detail of Bubba's skin. So once that's dry, the big end of May stays, a bit green at the minute, we don't want to take the outgrowth down yet. But once that's dry fully, we can get the outgrowth down, we can use them for this wall, get that final wall down. The guys are just clearing the hardcore downstairs now, so we'll go down there, take a look. It's going to be loud. Our shade stays inside in the nice dry, stand out here and sacrifice my wet hair. All the guys yesterday we built up this, sorry, reduced the height of the window, rebuilt the brickwork in this area. We need to put a new catnick in here, we need to put a new catnick in here, and a new catnick in there. As you'll see, while we've left this detail here, so the other side we've got a parapet wall which is being built up. We, we need to discuss with the clients, but there's a possibility we won't do a parapet wall here, we'll just do a fascia with a gutter. Um, I, I personally prefer a parapet idea with an outlet and we'll put that value there. Aiden thinks the gutter's going to work better, so we'll discuss with the clients, see what they prefer. But that's why we've left that there for the minute. Warm there, covering that eye, we've built up and ready. So if I position this correctly, I believe that's lining up the needle hole by now. So this is our last one to come down. We need to needle that, needle that, support the upper brickwork, and then that can take down, that can get taken down, sorry. Ready for our steel stand. We've got a corner steel going. We've got steel to come through this section into that column. That steel's installed. We've then got another one coming across. I think there's about four more steels to be installed, but we're nearly there. I'll be happy when they're done. Um, after the steel work, you're at a good stage in the project and things can start getting tied up. So I'm a pet peeve of mine of what I started doing this morning. I asked Ashton to help out with that. We've so got a sort of a, an assorted amount of uh, material in here. I like to dedicate a room in the field that's really not being touched that much because all these materials are going to be scattered about site. They're going to get destroyed or they're going to get in the way. So it makes sense to actually organise the site a little bit and get things tied away in a room that uh, that's not going to be used. So it's little things like a bucket of wall ties. Wall ties are cheap, they're not an expensive material, but at the same time, if we bought it, why are we just throwing them away? Why are they being lost on site? If things are kept clean, things are kept organised, then everyone's happy. Makes sense. Okay, so I head a detail to the steel. 
I'll take you on a close up look in a second, but Ben's done an amazing job on matching the existing. Um, we're just waiting for this to sort of cure a little bit more, because it's still a little bit green before we take all of these act goats down. But it's nice to see that head of detail now in. We built up this side, we built up the other side. We're getting there on the openings now. It means that we can get these stills in place for the corner window and they can finally build up that side extension. But we'll take you on a close up now of what he's done and I'll show you what I'm talking about. It's Friday morning, wet, windy and horrible. Uh, you can see the face work, face brick work now built up on this gay blend. Um, it's really got nice together now. Brick layers are here, so it's blow over, but we'll see. We will see. We'll take a look inside because the acros are now coming down on the uh big opening at the front. So we'll take a look inside now. Hardcore has now been moved down to the bottom of the hill. Apps, uh, apps, apps grab by us, sorry, has come to take the hardcore, get that away from sight. We've left this bit here because when we take the side ball, which we'll look at in a second, that's coming down today so we can then refill the area that I've spoken about about a hundred times with hardcore. Let's take a look at the side wall. Side wall. So this is our last wall to take down. Um, we've got the needles propped up on uh, the first floor. We're going to get the acros to support this now and then that wall can come down and then dress the floor with the hardcore. We'll take a look upstairs now because I want to show you more of the stripping. Can't see you. All paper stripped slowly but surely. We are getting there. See you in this left to do. Uh, that's it. I feel like that one is quite It's the last bedroom. We've got one more. And we're overboarding the ceiling in the hallway. What's the reason going up? Are we going up? Just say patching it in. Say patching it in. That was my idea. Yes. <laughs> Man, I look at you. And the world's alright with me. Happy Friday. Have a I saw an AA man on the side of the road the other day. He was in floods of tears. I thought to myself, that bloke's on his way to a breakdown. Yeah! support that by Kiss. you got to have a this side of the bad Yeah, I'm not going to be part of it. Sam, I'm not going to be And then he just, he folded it because he wanted to be a plumber or something. What are you going to say? Okay, so that is the end of episode seven. Another good week. Thank you for the support as always. Please do drop us a comment if there's anything you'd like to see more of, uh, things you'd like to see us work on. We do have a mic set coming next week, um, so the audio should be sorted out, a lot less crackly. Um, that's something that we will work on, but that is that. Please click here for last week's video, and click here for the start of the series to watch my pretty face. <laughs> oh.